Hello guys, Emmanuel from Geekception here and hope you're doing awesome today. And in today's video, I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of the Edifier X5 wireless earbuds. Let's begin. And welcome back. Like I said, you know, this is Geekception. I'm Emmanuel. And if you're here, thank you so much for checking this video out. Before I get into this video, a huge shout out to Edifier and especially Inter Asia for sending this over. You guys are amazing. And of course, a disclaimer, they did not get a preview of this. They are just seeing this as the first time as you are. In case you are new here, these are some of the recent videos that I've released. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's get to the unboxing. And starting with the front of the box and it has an image of the X5 along with the text True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. On the side of the box we find some of the features of the Edifier X5. Features such as a combined 21 hour playtime, dual mic noise cancellation and more. On the back of the box we find the same specs but in different languages. Getting into the box and the first thing I see is a cleaning cloth. Next up I see the X5 and its charging case nicely presented. We'll come back to this later. Underneath, we can find a silica gel, extra ear tips in case the included ones don't fit. Also included is a USB Type-C cable for charging. And lastly is the user guide that I very much doubt you are ever going to read. Just like I promised, let's take a look at the earphones and the case. I like the presentation in the box and on taking it out, both the earbuds of the X5 and the case are rather tight. The case here is plastic with this shiny effect on the lid. Putting the earphones on and it is actually quite comfortable. They have a good fit and are locked in. And in case you're wondering how it is going to look if you had it on, well, here it is. Here is how it's going to look from the side. The next thing to do is to put this on and listen to some music. And of course, I have my boys, Pete and Bass. And quick disclaimer, I would say I am no audiophile, so which means that I do not know how to tell this frequency from this frequency. But from my own very common ears, I would say they sounded loud enough. Uh, they had enough bass where I did not feel like it was lacking and I did not feel like it was too low. And you know, most definitely I would say they felt very good. Now, something I've been doing with the Edifier X5 right here is I've been listening to a lot of music. And of course, I've been running a lot also. So please do check out my second channel where I have videos on my running but I've been taking this out for almost every single day that I've been running and one thing I noticed out of a couple of things is definitely the fact that they always keep coming out so I think I should definitely look into you know changing the ear tips but that's the first thing I noticed the second thing I noticed is definitely that the sound isolation is actually pretty good which meant that when I was on the road when I was running most times I had to like take it off so that I can actually hear my environment because it's not like they have active noise cancellation but they just managed to seal in well in the ears which felt really good especially like not letting sounds in the third and final thing was that i listened to a lot of podcasts i listened to a lot of music and i have no complaints uh, in the real world or in the real environment i would say you know audio quality was still pretty good i did not feel like i have to increase the volume to the max to be able to get the good quality stuff in so most definitely i'm satisfied with the quality there as well battery life here is stated as six hours and when you you know put it in the case you get an extra 15 hours for a total of 21 hours battery life and when it comes to my own reward performance i would say yeah it matched up to that perfectly well and when you want to charge it with the usb type c port at the back there it takes about 1.5 to 2 hours i would say almost 1.5 hours of charging time to get it back up to 100 percent now on the x5 here there's a gesture based control system which means that you can tap on it to play pause and swipe to you know move to next track and all that and i absolutely hated it because most of the time when I was running I'm trying to adjust it in my ears and I kept mistakenly pressing it and I wish there was a way for me to actually like control it in software or something but I'm definitely not a fan I'm not sure it's a problem of the x5 themselves but for me I just did not like that feature at all and I just started recording here on the Edifier x5 and I have the fan running so most definitely it would be interesting to see if this cancels that noise um you know i'm just going to speak normally here the brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or something similar to that just you know to get you a feel of how this is going to sound with some noise in the background naturally like a fan so let me know what you think about the mic quality of the x5 in the comment section down there below
And when it comes to price, the Edify X5 here retails for 139 Malaysian ringgit with conversions on screen right now, which I think is pretty affordable for the price, for the feature. And again, as a follow up to the X3, I think it manages to hold on really, really well, especially when it comes to the quality and when it comes to the mic. So yes, that has basically been the Edify X3. A huge shout out again to Inter Asia for sending this over. You guys are awesome. Do let me know what you think about the X5 in the comment section down there below. And please, 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 we are still in the panorama, so please take of yourself i shall catch you on the next video if you liked what you see here you know do hit that subscribe button and you know comment for the algorithm but if not i shall see you in the next one don't forget to be awesome bye